<laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Elementary Kid. Today is a very special day because in this video, na to, there's something really special that I want to share with you. This is, a, this is a personal experience for me and I hope na may inspire kayo dito lalo sa mga bataan ngayon and I really hope that you'll pick up something from this and ayun, never lose faith in love because love hindi mo alam yun eh, bigla yung dumarating and when it comes, you really have to be ready for it and when I say that you really have to be ready for it I mean really really ready for it so in all aspects ng buhay mo so wag madaliin so anyway, dahil love ang topic natin, I will share with you guys my personal story on how I met the love of my life. So ayun, pagpakalimuman ako, di ba? So this is my story, and his story, and how we met. Free pataas na sila, bigyan sila ng Bona Kid Preschool 3 Plus for a triple boost advantage in growth, energy, and immunity. Mag 3 pataas, mag Bona Kid Preschool 3 Plus, batang may laban! Nakakay lang man, but I had to show that. Naalala niyo pa ba yung video na yun? Well, it made wonders for me. Kasi dun niya lang naman ako nakita, dun niya ako unang nakilala, at dun niya ako in ads sa Facebook. Then we started chatting. So doon na, nakapag-usap na kami. So for me, ako naman kasi, hindi naman ako mabilis na may in love sa chat. Wala lang, reply lang din ako na reply whatever he's telling me. Sasagutin ko lang din whatever he's asking. So it was a casual conversation na hindi ko naman binigyan ng meaning, hindi naman ako sa mera. But then, I really, I really found him cute na that time. As in, Ang cute niya. So, ayun. But it was an attraction na alam ko physical lang naman. Kasi ako, I know myself, na in love ako sa personality, sa pagkatao. Siyempre, in love ako pag naikita ko mahal naman ako. Hindi ako na in love just because he is attractive. So anyway, nagtuloy-tuloy yung chat-chat na yon, And it eventually died down kasi sobrang busy ko sa work at that time. May trabaho pa ako. So wala akong time makipag-chat. So, puros trabaho lang. So, ayun. Hindi na kami nakapag- chat pa ever. But then, alam mo yon yung universe gagawa talaga ng paraan eh, um, para mag-usap ulit kayo. There was one time na bigla akong inaya on a random night ni Lloyd na pumarty kasama ng mga DJ friends niya from IFM. So, bonding nila, pero gusto ni Lloyd na sumama ako. So, sumama ako kasi bored naman ako, wala namang magawa. So, sumama ako. Then, we went to this bar sa QC. It was, it was not a party-party bar. It was just a casual dining, drinking place. Doon kami nila, Lloyd. And, nung nandun na kami sa loob, habang umiinom, may nakita ako sa kabilang table. Sabi ko, parang he looks familiar, but not really familiar. Basta he really looks familiar lang to me. So, hindi ko naman pinansin. Hinayaan ko na lang. Until such time na, uwi na ata nila, napansin ko din sila tumayo ang mga kasama niya kasi nga lagi akong napapatingin because he looks familiar dumaan siya sa likod ko ay nagkatingin na lang kami I didn't know who he was hindi ko naman na-confirm kung sino talaga siya but then dumaan siya, lumabas siya, umuwi na sila then after that, nung umuwi na din kami nung pauwi na din kami nila Lloyd I decided to text him may number na ako niya during that time tinext ko, uy ikaw ba yung nakita ko? sabi niya Ah, uh, ikaw din ba yung nakita ko? Di ba nakapink ka? Kasama mo sila Lloyd. He knows Lloyd kasi si Lloyd, social media sensation nga naman. And sa video ako ni Lloyd nakita. And then, doon namin na-confirm, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nakakitaan na kami. But then, we did not even say hi to one another kasi naman hindi namin alam. So, that's how it all started again for me kung paano kami nag-usap ulit. And during the time, may mga developments na. So, we got serious talking to one another, so nagkakaroon na ng pagsiseryoso sa usapan. But then, hindi pa rin ako content. I wasn't contented yet because it was all online. It was, uh, it was purely online. Tapos, wala naman nangyayari. I mean, we decided to meet up, pero never naman nangyayari. He is from Quezon. And, wala. I, I, I really thought na hanggang doon na lang, Aww. hanggang online na lang. And eventually, New Year came. Pumasok yung January. 
and doon ulit. Sabi ko, pa hindi na siya nagpaparamdam. Parang wala nang text. Wala nang chat. So, feeling ko, na ano na din siya, ah, he's over, he's over it na. Kasi, it was all temporary. Wala lang naman yun. And then, January, tinext ko siya ulit siya. Ah, uh, chinat ko ulit siya, sorry. Sabi ko, kamusta? And then, nag-reply siya. And then, tuloy-tuloy na yung chat. And then, it became even more serious. Nung nagulit naman ako na, wow, seryoso naman ang taong to. And then, those chats turned into phone calls. So, nagtatawagan na kami. Ang sintawagan, puyatan. Na parang akong high school. Ganon, ganon, ganon. So, parang akong high school. Nag-uusap lang kami over the phone, magdamag. And, wala. It was all random. Kung ano nung mga topics namin, kung ano nung pinag-uusapan namin. Until, dumating yung point na sabi namin, sige, magkita na nga tayo. Magkita na talaga tayo. So, let's set a date. And talaga, let's make sure na magkikita tayo. So, nag-set kami ng date. At ayan na nga, nagkikita na kami. Sobrang excited na ako. But then, surprise! Hindi siya natuloy. Kasi nagka-problem. So, hindi siya natuloy. Hindi na naman kami ulit nakita. And I was convinced that time na hanggang doon na lang. It was all a joke. It was, it was nothing but a fling. So, yan, panginaan on love. I was really discouraged. But still, we continued talking. Hindi na ako naniniwala sa mga sinabi niya. But eventually, Nag-propose ulit siya, sige, magkita ulit tayo. So, sabi, I was hesitant at first kasi hindi ko na alam, may totoo ba to or ano. So anyway, pumayag ako, sige, magkita tayo. So, bahala ka na kung darating ka o hindi. So, hinayaan ko siya, that day came, I wasn't even excited kasi hindi ko naman sure kung magkikita talaga kami. Hindi ko sure kung seryoso siya. So, I just stay put. Actually, may shoot pa kami noong bakla ng taon. So, nag-shoot kami, doon kami sa venue, kina Direct Jin. I was there, nung dumating yung mga 4 or 5, nag-text siya bigla na mahapit na daw siya sa bus terminal. So I just, I have to be there na daw kasi hindi nakabisada yung Manila. So kailangan ko nang pumunta ng bus terminal para magkita kami when he arrives kasi hindi niya alam how to go around Manila. So ano nangyari? Nagulat ako. So, alam mo yan, syempre, hindi ko din naman itatanggi na na-excite din ako nung nag-text siyang ganun. But also, I was scared kasi hindi ko din sure kung ano mayayari. But anyway, maglakas loob ako, I, I decided to book a ride going to the bus terminal sa Pasay, sa Bandia. And ayun, dumating ako doon earlier than expected dahil sa sobrang excitement ko ata. Hindi ako nagpaalam sa mga bakla, kaya ako nag-disappear. And I went to the bus terminal. Doon ako nag-stay sa McDonald's. Kasi praning-praning ako doon eh. Hindi ko naman sure kung sino siya, di ba? Hindi naman ako nagkakilala. Malay mo, mamamatay tao. Joke na, baby. <laughs> Hindi, what I mean is, syempre, naging sigurista din ako for me to feel safe. Doon ako sa McDonald's kasi kung saan maraming tao. So doon, tumabay ako sa McDonald's and then eventually, after a couple of minutes of waiting there, dumating siya. Pumasok siya. Nakita ko siya. Hindi niya alam na nakita ko siya. So dumanag siya sa CR. Nag-text pa sa akin, CR lang ako. Dito na. Hindi niya pa alam noon that I already saw him. So, sige, sabi ko, okay, untay ko siya. Then when he went out, and then the first time that we saw each other, sobrang awkward, hindi namin alam kung ano sasabihin sa isa't isa. Dapat ba magay, dapat ba magilo. I don't know, I really didn't know. So, ang nangyari doon, just said hi, hi, hi. Then, hindi pa namin alam how to move around. Di ba, sa presence ng isa't isa. So, yun, nag-book na ako going back sa venue ng show. So, sumama na siya. So in the car, he was really nervous. Alam ko hindi siya mapakali, kinakabahan siya. And napansin ko yun, so I, I simply held his hand. I held his hand. And sabi ko, are you okay? And sabi niya, oo. Sobrang pawis yung kamay niya. As in, sobrang kabado siya. Sabi ko, it's okay. Everything is gonna be okay. At least nag-meet na tayo. During the time, hindi ko alam. Oh my God, alam mo sa utak ko nun. Sabi ko, gusto niya ba ako? Ano gusto niya ba ako? May mali ba sa akin? Mabago ba ako? Mataba ba ako? Alam mo lahat ng insecurities na yung tao sa sarili mo. As in, ginadjudge mo yung sarili mo. Dahil, oh my God, hindi totoo to. Someone likes me. Nagganito ako. Alam mo yun? Alam mo yun? Alam mo yun? As in, nag-self-pity ka lahat na nung panlalait. Ikaw na nalait sa sarili mo. But then, yung mga tao talaga mas fair to like me. <laughs> Joke lang. So anyway, so yun yung nangyari. That was our first meeting. At, Ang saya-saya nung araw na yon, it was magical for me because I knew that time na it is already the right time. It was meant to be and panahon na para 
maging happy naman ako. Diba? Finally, after 27 years, lumating din. And I prayed so hard for it to come. So, kung naalala nyo, sa mga posts ni Lloyd, di ba nag-Bagyo kami? Kami tatlo, si Ivan, ako si Lloyd. We went to Bagyo. I went up to the grotto, to the Our Lady of Lourdes. I prayed there. I remember, nagdasal ako doon. Nang, not really for a love life, but for at least something to make me happy. Kumaga, something na dumating sa life ko that would change the usual things na nakasanayan ko na. And I'm really thankful. Yun talaga yung una kong naalala. Because I promise also Our Lady of Lourdes na that moment na darating yun and I know na yun yun and I'll just feel in my heart na yun yun dadalhin ko siya pabalik doon kay Lady of Lourdes sa bago. Until next time, bye!